request from the Joan, from Jonestown Borough to provide an extension to their Marcella Shale Playground grant uh, that was awarded to them in 2020. Uh, they were provided um, $5,000 to assist to build the George H. Kaufman Park Improvement Project, but they've had some delays uh, in supply chain and council reorganization, and they're requesting a one-year extension for this grant. Okay. Motion? Motion approved. And I'll second the motion. It's been moved and seconded that we approve that request uh, from Jonestown Borough to uh, extend the Marcel Shale grant for one year. Any questions or comment regarding the motion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same signs. So moved. I have a tower site land lease agreement between the county through their Department of Emergency Services uh, agency and the Anvil Cleona School District. This is an existing tower that we've had there for, I'm going to guess, well, since the last. Uh, iteration of this radio system, so about 15 years. Um, it's been revised to include a number of new things, one of which is that we are able to sublease equipment on the tower, and uh, this provides for a, a length of 29-year 29, 29 term. Uh, there is no compensation from us to handle the you know, school district. It simply uh, provides for them to be able to have their equipment on the tower uh, for us to provide room in the shelter building that is at the base of the tower for their equipment and so that's the trade-off. I'll make a motion to approve the tower agreement with Andal Clay on the school district. Second. Okay, it's been moved in a second that we approve that lease agreement. Any questions regarding the motion? <clears throat> Hearing none all in favor please indicate by saying aye. 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 Post same signs. So moved. Okay. Uh, we received a request from Faith Bucks, chair of the South London Township, South Londonderry Township Board of Supervisors, and they are seeking a letter of support from the county commissioners for a multimodal grant, and they are looking to <coughs> install a traffic circle at the intersection of Airport Road and Forge Road, which has been a concern, traffic concern for some time. And with more development occurring in North Londonderry and in South Anvil, we'll only increase the congestion. They've obtained a study projecting the cost to, of about $1.5 million. And um, they've met with PennDOT representatives, our MPO planning staff, and the multimodal grant would give them the ability to be the lead on the project and get it done in a more timely manner. So they are asking for a letter of support toward that end. <coughs> Motion. Motion approved. Second. Okay, it's been seconded that we approve that uh, request. South London Dairy Township. Any questions regarding the motion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Post same sign. So ordered. Okay, I have two. Uh, Can, excuse me, did you have a question, Susan? Yeah, we do. Um, we need to apologize, but there were two numbers flipped on this, on this um, request. Yeah, so sorry, I should have called that when you asked the question. The, the bank and the source of funds in the minutes, the bank is holding the 348 mortgage and for and the next generation will be the 552 amount. Um, they were inverted, I, I should have <coughs> So on the second page, sources of funds? Yes, the First Citizens Community Bank will hold the $348,000 mortgage and then the Next Generation Farm Loan Program, the tax refinancing request would be the 500. I think that's what you said. <laughs> yeah. The but resolutions I for the 348. I, the, so we need to change that. Yeah, yeah, from 348 to the 552. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh. Realize it's flipped in the... In okay. The um, is there a motion to amend? I'll make a motion to amend. Uh, that, uh, Did you make the... I think the same person who made the motion has to make the motion to amend it. Um, I, I think that's parliamentary Let's procedure. I'll make the motion to amend. I second that. Thank you. Okay, so we understand what we've corrected there, Dawn. We're good. Okay. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 We'll some signs, so move. Nice save, okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, then I have two agreements for uh, drivers for <coughs> the provision of medical. Uh, assistance transportation program uh, rides to the eligible recipients of, of that program. And they are for Gambino, Alexander Rodriguez Ovale, and Regina Rowe. 
I'll make a motion to approve the two MATP contracts. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we approve those drivers. Any questions? If not all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Those same signs, so moved. Uh, last item I have is uh, you have received a request for uh, hotel tax grant fund from the In the Net Sports Complex. This is not an event, this is from the actual facility um, of 798 Airport Road, Pomona, <coughs> and they are requesting funding for the artificial turf replacement and field grooming equipment for the facility in South London Township. They have a total project cost of 16832 and are requesting $10,000 toward that $16,000 and attached some quotes as such. The motions? I'd like to discuss it. I'd um, like to get a motion if we want to do parliamentary procedure. Well, yeah, but we do both. <laughs> well, that's because you insist on discussing. No, you've, you've done it too, sir. Well, can we have a motion? Uh, I'm going to make a motion to uh, deny this request based on the, the nature okay. of the, the use of the funds. Then I'll second the motion. I didn't know you were going there, but I agree 100% because it is not an event. We only have $5,000 a month coming in over the winter months. And on top of that, um, uh, we've been cautioned by staff repeatedly that our funds are dwindling, and so we can't run it out completely in case we have something that's an emergency, in my opinion. So I, I concur. Are you denying it on the merits of the yeah, it lacks the merit. Comment to say, say that no, not certainly lack of value uh, in the net and what they bring in to our community. I think next to the Expo Center, I can't think of an organization that brings in more that contributes to the hotel tax, but they are a for-profit entity, and this is more capital we've, we've tended to support events. Yeah, I think the spirit of this, at least in, in the funding that we've done mostly, is uh, for advertising to promote people from outside the county to come into the county and, and so on, and that's uh, rather than, as you said, capital uh, improvements. So I, I, I concur with that. Um, I don't want to uh, mix the, the, we're not doing this because of the lack of funding, it's because of the issue of the specific use. Yeah. Okay. Um, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. I also would like my colleagues to consider maybe we should be looking at caps of maybe 7,500 or 5,000 if we want to conserve the fund a little bit. That might be a thought that just <coughs> to consider maybe for another uh, public meeting. Yeah, just to, to touch on the numbers for a moment, you have 110,000 <coughs> unencumbered in your uh, pot of funds, so to speak, that are available for these types of grants. <clears throat> that's replenished at the rate of about, in rough numbers, uh, $10,000 a month in the Summer. seasonal months and about, you know, five to 7,000 in the off-season months. So, uh, you know, you still generate uh, probably that much in a given year, but um, just, uh, you know, word of caution, I guess, of what the balance is versus the, the, the requests are increasing. There's no doubt about that. So that's something you want to uh, entertain if you need any numbers uh, you know put together on that or what it would look like with our history of grants at 5,000 or at 7,500 we can put something like that together if you'd like unless you're going to take action today that's fine too well I'd like if they want to give it some thought I don't think we have to rush to do it today but well, I'll I'll make a motion to um, do the seventy five hundred dollar max, and then also uh, maybe I guess I'll save that for after this motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comment, requests uh, for comment, discussion, anything? No? I'm, yes? I'm just curious, uh, you know, because when I was looking at the packet and I saw the request that I kind of wondered about the same thing that I think you've <clears throat> expressed. Um, are these entities, are, you know, are, are they aware of what the true 
substance of uh, of that those grants are for you know that it is for more as you indicated the advertising and the things that draw the people in versus capital improvements I, I think this would help clarify for people uh, they I, someone comes up with a night we every once in a while we have a capital request and we've not we've been consistent in uh, in uh, not approving those but um, you know we see the, the uh, results uh, from billboards and, and advertising of other kinds that uh, to fill the hotel beds you know and that's the, the where we get these funds so um, I, I don't know if everyone understands that but they will as they try to get it and are denied that that word will spread hopefully <coughs> anything beyond that you know? Well, the second part of what I wanted to discuss was I'd like to maybe tweak this hotel grant application to be a little more clear on what we are looking for and um, either there or, or in the guidelines but somehow you know telling them we need to see it doesn't have to be an extensive budget but a, a budget overview that sort of thing because now this is one piece but when we get them some people do a really nice job presenting those facts and others don't so I just think we need to look at our application and do some tweaking so we get what we need to make a good decision we can, we can change the we can ask for in that brief project description part of the application we can ask for uh, <coughs> more detail and budget and uh, how it contributes to tourism yeah. draw from certain areas and so on, if you'd like. That's what you would I like. would like that. Um, can I amend my motion to make that? Would that be acceptable? Do we need a motion to change the verbiage? Probably not. I mean, we'll just, I don't know that you, you can a just do, to do it. that. We'll just oh, okay. change, we'll just change okay. some of the wording. Right, that's fine. Because we're going we're gonna to have to, we'll change it to um, have the maximum limit here as well. So. Okay. Motion has been made for 7,500 max uh, on these grants. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Same sign, so move. Uh, just a, a heads up, but you do have one other application that they're scheduled to come in on the 17th of November. They submitted it prior to this, so I don't know how you want to handle that one when it comes in, but they're asking for 10,000. That's the Gretna Art Show, and they're going to come in on the 17th. I think you have to honor that, the timing. Would be, it'd be my opinion. Anyway. Just a heads up on that. They're okay. going to come in and talk about <clears throat> everything you're talking about. They're going to give you a, a yeah. nice presentation on what, what Some it's done do a for really them. nice yeah. job. Yeah. So I, we'll wait to see what the merits of it are, but I think we should honor the, the limit that we had at the time that they applied. Yeah. So, okay. okay. All right, we have one left uh, batter in the uh, batter's box, so uh, 